Now we were discussing about the distillation with the Macabatile method using the assumption that throughout the column we are going to get a constant molar overflow. That is, if we consider if we consider our column in this manner, then there are going to be several number of trays like this. And in each tray, for an example, now here, in each tray, we are going to get constant or the wave phase like this and the liquid flow rate is something like this and in this tray we are going to get the same wave phase and here we are going to get the same liquid phase but actually is it so actually is it so when we are discussing about this section is it that this is an assumption assumption is something that is not really happening in most cases actually what we are going to get is this one will be L1 V1 or L V1 L1 and this vapor will be something different we can call it as V2 L2 and here we can call this one as something further different like V3 L3 so actually this V1 is not equal to V2 and these are not going to get equal to V3 as well. In the same manner the liquid flow rates are not actually equal to each other. So do we, using this assumption actually we are getting some error in our system. Therefore, now we are going to consider the distillation column without that assumption. So, in order to analyze this distillation column with different uh, molar flow rates, uh, we can use either the Lewis method or the Ponchan Savary method. First of all, we can discuss about this Lewis method. Now this is our distillation column and now we are going to consider to analyze it using the Lewis method. In Lewis method the flow rates are not going to be equal. So the vapor phase that is going to leave the first column can be called as V1 and the liquid phase leaving the first column is L1. In the same manner, here we are going to get V2 and in the liquid phase we are going to get L2. So in the same manner, in the nth plate, the we are going to get Vn and here we are going to get Ln as the liquid phase. So the wave coming in to this column from is the Vn plus 1 that is from the bottom column Vn plus 1 right so now we are going to get some analyzing part so in order to do uh, analyzing part what we can do is to do a material balance but in this method only a material balance is not, it is not enough. We have to consider about the energy balance as well. But first of all, we can consider about the energy balance. 
So before we consider about the energy balance, we have to decide or we have to concern the boundaries of our system. So the boundaries can be actually uh, boundaries can be considered as this. So the if we can write the material balance in this manner the inputs are this vapor phase and that's it all and the outputs are the these two liquid phases so we can write the overall material balance so under overall material balance we can say that V n plus 1 will be equal to here the output is ln plus the distillate so this one will be our first equation the overall material balance for the system at the same time we can write the material balance for the more volatile component the same one right so here then what is coming in is v n plus 1 multiplied by its concentration that is y n plus 1 and it will be equal to what is going out that is ln it should be multiplied by the its concentration that is xn plus distillate multiplied by its concentration that is xd so this one will be our second equation that one will be our second equation but as I said these two equations are not enough therefore we have to do an energy balance as well so in energy balance what is coming in the energy that is coming in is the vapor flow rate and it should be multiplied by its enthalpy so this is vapor so we call it as HV and it is n plus 1 right so what other heats are going out now with this liquid some amount of it is removed from the color so we can call it as ln multiplied by its enthalpy since this is liquid phase we call it as HL in the end plate plus some amount of heat is removed by with this distillate so we can call it as D it is in liquid phase so we call it as HL D but is it all now because we have this condenser some amount of heat is reduced through this condenser we call it as condenser heat load and it is normally called as QC so some amount of heat is reduced so we can call it as QC at this point so this is our third equation so this is the basis this is the foundation that is used to analyze this distillation column using the Lewis method.